Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Shadow Blades here again. Today I'm bringing you a tips and tricks video on the big con approach. Um, it is probably by far one of the easiest approaches to do, uh, depending on what take you're getting. I would recommend art on it, but you can also do gold. Uh, cash I would avoid, but when you're doing big con um, with artwork, you can go in with the cheap guns, um, cheap gar and best hacker. As you can see there just a second ago, I closed the lobby. Um, a lot of people don't know to do that, and if you just want to run it two-player, you got to close the lobby right as soon as you get in. So once you get it all loaded up, you want to go in with the group sex van, exit gear, news gear, exit um, being staff lobby, always sending to selling to the high end, and just in case, I usually buy the decoy. I don't upgrade the car. So you can run artwork and gold um, on big con without being detected if your hacking skill is good enough. Um, you might need Page. Uh, if you buy the Terabyte, you get Page, the hacker, which is your 9% hacker. And then the best hacker is going to be the one from all the um, signal jammers. If you go around the city and blow up all, I think, 50 of them, you get the best hacker. I don't have that, but my buddy does, so it kind of helps us out sometimes. But I've been able to do gold and artwork without being detected on Big Con. But if you do get uh, gold, I always have the model, I always have a plan B, <laughs> it seems to work out well for us. So artwork, we go with the low level guns, and if we get gold, we usually bring in the good guns, just in case it goes south that we don't have to, you know, keep retrying, we just shoot our way out if we have to. So this one's going to be a nice smooth one, um, just knocking people out, I'm pretty sure we don't even fire a shot in this one. Uh, but yeah, we pretty much just do back to back uh, big cons and aggressive, artwork and gold, and take what we get. Uh, we don't run cash because cash tends to be um, a lot less money. P potentially, even if you could grab it all, which we can't when it's cash because there's so many bundles, you might walk out with 1.5 million, usually is what we get, um, but you have the potential to grab 2 million, whereas artwork has 2.5 to 2.6 million, you can get it easily with two people, and gold has up to 2.8 million, uh, between 2.6 2.8 depending if you get all the stacks and everything. But yeah, all in all, I'd say you could run those two, but I would avoid cash, because cash just takes too long to grab. So I'm pretty much the hacker of my crew. Um, so I go ahead and I just hack everything and while he grabs it. Uh, it seems to work out best that way in the two-player mode. Uh, so I just go ahead and hack all the doors while he's cutting the art, and then we're good to go. Sometimes I won't even end up grabbing anything. Uh, if you find yourself with three people or a lot of time uh, when you're in here, you could always bring in the drills, but I find the drills aren't really worth it. Oh, I made a mistake there. <laughs> um, the drills aren't usually worth it because you don't usually have enough time, and they are very much a variable in the vault, and it's not worth risking getting detected in Big Con. But if you got like three people and aggressive, you could probably bring them in. But I found you average between either empty drills or about 9,000. I've heard rumors that you can have like 100,000 in one of them randomly, but it is very random. Um, but I find if I get anything, say I drill five boxes, it'll give me, I don't know, maybe maybe 50 grand if I'm lucky and get something in each box. But usually I find I get nine grand in about three of them. So it's like 30 grand. So a whole extra prep mission and risking getting the timer. So we don't usually do drills. We can do it, but like I said, if you had a third person, I would definitely bring drills just because they could be drilling the whole time we're cutting. Uh, as you can see, we still had like extra time. I could have probably drilled a couple things, but all in all, not worth it when we're looking at a $2.6 million score. Uh, we're not going to worry about that extra. Now, when it comes to all your extra stuff, um, the getaway cars, the cheapest ones spawn the closest. That's why I like them so much. Um, the difference between pricing on a heist. Uh, between your 5% and 10% is pretty much 100,000 on whichever one you're picking. So um, if you were to say get the better guns, then you're talking about another extra 100,000 off the cut. And uh, that's about 50,000 each that you're paying out for better guns. Same goes for the car and the hacker. I just would I would get the best hacker you could possibly get. Um, one little trick about this is that when you come through here, a lot of people don't know it. You actually have access to your inventory. So if you do it at two player, one of you will always have access to your inventory and then for some reason the other one doesn't but all you got to do when that happens is um, put the one person in the vault. I'll show you that in a second. 
Now, if you notice, I have a helmet there. I kind of failed the first time, so <laughs> YouTube editing. <laughs> Essentially, you just got to knock out that guard, and then um, come and knock out this guard, and that's it. And then you can get to your disguises. Um, you got to swipe that key card to come back in for the daily vault. But yeah, no, um, if you do end up getting detected, detected um, right off the hop, and you really want to do it stealth for the most money, I would recommend just letting them shoot you, because then you can just quick restart, you'll be out of the vault, you'll be walking out of the vault again, um, and it's really easy. Uh, you won't obviously get your extra bonuses, but you can make a fair amount of money doing it this way. So we both grab the disguises, the other one's over in the laundry room. We're just waiting for this guard to turn around because even with the disguises, if you get too close to these guys, you will get detected. So as I, said, I already swiped that on the way in. So I'm just going to come over here. Um, now sometimes i found they can be stuck or they can be moving. It's really weird. But essentially you both want to just synchronize, knock out these guys. I didn't have access to my inventory here, so I went in the vault. So there you go. We're still not detected by them. I'm grabbing all that money. <laughs> he made it in the vault with me. So if you do it like this and you both get in the vault, then you could actually have the one person timed up and ready. Like at this point, he should hit the button and then the door could be open ready for us to go. But as you can see, I should have access to my inventory now. Um, I, actually, I guess I didn't open it, but it's not really important on this one. It's more in the aggressive that I find uh, that's important. So you get the person with their inventory to take the lead. And then you put the person who doesn't have the inventory in the vault. And as soon as you're done grabbing the cash, you have access to it again. I did actually do this stealth one time without having the new gear. It was by accident. I think I forgot to put it on when we loaded in. And we actually did come out stealthy as well. So it is doable without even having new gear. But I would highly recommend getting it. And again, as you can see, I did get the 5% guns, which saved us 100,000. Because we didn't really need any better guns. So what I do is I knock at this guy. And he shoots that guy at the same time. Um, and then there's no other guards. We also have a decoy in case anything goes south. 30,000 for a decoy. I would always recommend getting one just in case. Because at this point here when you hop over the fence, that's when the decoy kicks in. So you would definitely not have anybody chasing you after this if you ha if you pay for your decoy. And then you don't need to waste the 25,000 upgrading the car. Because at first when I started playing this, I upgraded the car for 25,000. And I had bulletproof tires and better armoring and stuff. But usually if you have the decoy... now. Because we weren't detected, the decoy hasn't kicked in, but uh, it just kicked in now. Because we hadn't been detected, you have to be detected in order for the decoy to launch right as you hop the fence. Um, but as you can see, we got the decoy now, so they're all busy with the decoy. There's no helicopters following us. I mean, we're right at the tunnel anyway, but it's just better to be safe, because if, if all best plans is to do it this way, but if something goes wrong and you need an extra hand, that helps out a lot. It's 30,000. I've lost more than 100,000 without a decoy um, when I first started out and when you're losing that much money paying 30 grand for a decoy to save you money in the long run is the best option same with I would say an aggressive paying for the better guns you have better guns coming out cost you an extra hundred thousand which is fifty thousand off the total profit of two point something million um, so having the better guns you get shot less you take more money out so I've actually done the numbers on quite a few of these things um, to see what's the most profitable and everything <laughs> Took her on two wheels. My awesome driver here always drives me. So we pretty much got our uh, things set up that I'm, I'm the hacker and he's the driver. We, we both even out on shooting, I'd say. But he's definitely got the up advantage on me on the driving because, yeah. And uh, I got the shooting. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably be looking into some doomsday at some point. But we've just been making a lot of money. Last week was crazy with the uh, Arena War sale. We did get all the vehicles and we upgraded them all. I'll be having some uh, videos on that. I just wanted to do a couple updated versions on these, seeing as we kind of found out like the best methods for these for each approach. Like I said, if you're doing gold or cash, I would bring in better guns because odds are you're going to get greedy and get detected while you're in the vault, and it just helps for shooting your way out of the vault. I'm going to do an updated one on the aggressive soon because we had a funny day there uh, yesterday. Where I think somebody tried to troll us because they're like, they need help with the thing. And then we didn't have armor or reinforced armor or good guns or a good good car or anything. Like I said, the 5% car is definitely all you need. And these actually do drive pretty good. They're pretty solid. They're just all around decent car. I did play around with all the 5% cars. And a lot of them are garbage, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, 
The one is a front wheel drive car and it's just terrible. Um, the other one's a mini and I know my UK body likes it, but it's just terrible. To give credit, apparently it's not as good as they are in real life because they are like r rally cars in real life, but in this game they just didn't do it justice. So yeah, the Sentinel Classic is definitely the best car to go in that category. We have tested out other categories, but it becomes a lot more difficult the better cars you get, the further they source them away from the exit. So um, you have to deal with a lot of trouble getting to the vehicle if you go further, if you go for a higher um, value vehicle, um, which doesn't help at all. So yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoy this content, please uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with more very soon. Like I said, I'll probably get work on my aggressive uh, video in a second here. It'll have a different music. I'm playing around with the music and testing out different videos. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. If you guys have something you want to see or you like the tips and tricks, you want to see some more of the funny stuff. I got a couple trolling videos that I might do a little bit later because we had some trolling the other day. <laughs> we can make a lot of money when we work together, but if we're not working together, it, it can get really... It can go south very fast. <laughs> I like the cinematic view. It's an interesting view. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a good one. That's going to probably do it for this video. But yeah, we can easily make almost a million each off of every heist now. Um, so we split it 50-50. And this one, we are very close to a million. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy and I'll be back more soon. Have a good one, everybody. Cheers. I also want to say a quick thank you to all my subscribers. I'm up to 27 now and you guys are all amazing. Thank you very much. Have a good one, everybody.